So if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a big file manager guy. Now, it is a weird thing to be, to be a file manager guy. Of all the, th the interests in the world, one of the things that I enjoy most about Linux is the file managers. Now, there's a story behind that, and that starts way back in 2017, which is actually something you can say way back to now, given that it's, it's getting close to 10 years ago. Uh, when I first started to Linux, I started on Ubuntu Budgie. Now, Ubuntu Budgie is basically GNOME, and it uses a lot of the GNOME applications, including Nautilus. Now, I was coming from Windows. Now, if you've ever used Windows, which is everybody basically you've opened up the F windows explorer application and if you know anything about it you will know that it is slow now i didn't realize that it was slow at the time honestly i just thought that the launch time was pretty normal you just opened it up and it's kind of slow now this was back then maybe it's gotten faster since then i don't know i don't use windows but basically the story goes is i switched to ubuntu budgie and i opened up nautilus and it was instantaneous like it just opened there was no loading of things like windows explorer is so slow it has a loading bar like and that's not like a it's not that's not like a thing where you move file from one place to another and it has a progress bar it has that too nautilus and all the other file managers on windows on linux also have that but I'm talking like a loading bar when you load a page, you'll see along the top it just loads. Like it's loading a web page <laughs> from the, it's like GeoCities back in the early 2000s where it was and it was coming through dial up and it just loaded it bit line by line. It's kind of the same thing. It's not that slow, but it you know it kind of feels like that. But anyways, I was I was I, I got into Ubuntu Budgie. I opened up Nautilus and it was just it just opened. It was a miraculous thing and it, I I talked about this on the podcast the other day when I basically would sit there and I would just open Nautilus I'd close it open close open close and just watch how fast it was it was like a fidget spinner it was crazy I was I was so impressed by how fast Nautilus opened and Nautilus isn't even the fastest file manager out there like it's actually pretty slow and back then it was probably even slower because of of animations and all the stuff that have kind of gone away over the course of the last few years so i'm a file manager guy i have been forever i've used all of them i've used thunar and nemo and dolphin and all sorts of file managers if you this if there's a file manager out there i've used it for linux it's just the thing that I do. But for the longest time, and you'll know this if you have watched my videos, I've been a Crusader guy. Now, Crusader is a KDE application from like the 90s. I think it's been around for like 30 years. It's been around for a long, long time. And it has, in traditional KDE fashion, every feature under the sun that you could possibly want. And I loved that. It was better than double commander or what i think that's the name of the, the file manager that just has a ton of settings it has a ton of settings but they're not organized it's not really well put together but for crusader it's very well designed and it has a ton of app of support for all sorts of things and i was a big fan like a, a big fan so much so that i think i've made multiple videos about how crusader is my favorite application on linux but times have changed so i don't use crusader anymore it's not because Crusader is bad, although it did have some problems moving from Qt5 to Qt6 and the whole transition from Xorg to Wayland. Most of those things have been settled, but I have moved away from it. And one of the big reasons why is because I just don't need it anymore. Every time I want to move a file around, I'm either in the terminal or I move to my new file manager, which is Ranger. Now, Ranger also is not new. It's been around for a very long time. And for those of you who are saying, Matt, have you tried Yazi? Yes, I've tried Yazi. I didn't care for it as much as Ranger. I know people are saying, well, it's faster because it's written in Rust. Okay. And, and Ranger is written in Python. Oh, Python, the, the travesty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I prefer, I actually like Python, so I'm not going <laughs> to, I like Ranger. So Ranger is my new file manager and I don't spend a lot of time in it, to be honest with you. Most of my time is just spent in the terminal and I will actually use Dear Ed in Emacs more than Ranger. But when I do use an actual dedicated file manager, it is Ranger now. And some things have enabled this. First off, 
I don't drag and drop anymore. I, but basically everything that I do can be done with a keyboard centric workflow. That wasn't really the case for the longest time. I would always be dragging something from Crusader to Vivaldi or from Crusader to Audacity or whatever. The problem is, is that I'm on Wayland now and Wayland is good as it is that these days, I suppose I should say, it just doesn't handle dragging from one application to another application all that well. Especially if those applications are running on Wayland versus X Wayland, they, they just don't communicate very well because of security purpose reasons and all that stuff, right? So I don't drag and drop anymore because of the Wayland thing. So that was one reason why I had a graphical file manager. Another thing is that I was always leaving tabs open, right? I was a big tab guy. But some funny happened a few months ago when I decided I was going to stop being a tab hoarder in Vivaldi in my web browser. Because I was a I was a tab hoarder in, in Firefox too, so I can't just say it's Vivaldi. So but something something funny happened is when I stopped doing that and started closing my tabs and basically saving web pages in a read later application called LinkedIn. I have basically stopped hoarding tabs everywhere. I didn't have a lot of tabs open in Crusader anymore. It just was not something that I did. I would actually close my file manager when I was done with it. It was a novelty. It's not something that I... It used to be the first thing I would do upon booting up my computer would be I launched the browser, I would launch my to-do list application, whatever it was at the time, and then I launched the file manager. Those three would almost immediately get launched on computer boot and then they would just stay open like the to-do list application to this day gets open first after the browser and it just remains on workspace 2 until the computer gets shut down workspace 1 is always a browser workspace 8 was my file manager but it's almost always empty these days because when i'm done with it i just close it i have no interest in maintaining multiple tabs within ranger it does support tabs but i don't need them i just do what i need to do and then i leave like a normal person it feels weird i feels like i've grown up i've evolved from a weirdo to a slightly less weirdo i don't, it's it's weird so i have moved away from crusader that's not saying again that crusader is bad it's just i have i now no longer need a graphical file manager it just takes up a lot of room on my computer that doesn't need to be taken up crusader comes with basically the entire plasma stack along with it if you've ever downloaded it you know it has a ton of dependencies I've been able to delete all those from my NixOS system because I don't need them anymore. I don't use Crusader. So just a short video about me rambling about why I don't use Crusader anymore. For those of you who are also file manager people, we're, we're a little bit of a cult. I think we should get t-shirts, I'm just saying. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I do have a, a t-shirt on the store shop that I'm going to about file managers. Uh, so you can go check that out if you want if you want to. But, but anyways, for those of you who are interested in file managers, leave what you're using in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. We can nerd out about file managers of all things. So there's that. If you want to fo follow me on Mastodon, you can do so. That link will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. That's a place where I will po post a weekly exclusive podcast. Basically, it's just me sitting in front of the microphone for about 15 minutes just rambling about nonsense. So if you're interested in that type of thing, it's basically the Seinfeld of podcasts, although without the famous person or the humor or any of this stuff that Seinfeld brought. Uh, but anyways, you can check that out. Patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Thanks for everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the challenges would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. I truly, honestly do appreciate it. Thank you so very much for that. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.